James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little walkthrough of something, uh, something kind of cool. If you're like me, you build a lot of computers, um, or at least you want to know what specs your computers are compatible with. You know, most of us go to like PC Parts Picker, and they have like a little uh, website that you can put in your input what you have, and it'll tell you what's compatible. Well, if you go to Newegg.com, which I already have it up, they have this little part here that says Build a PC. Now, unfortunately, this video might be a little long, so I apologize right off the back, but when you go to build your PC, they give you a budget, mainstream, or enthusiast. You can customize it and buy it, or you can just buy it. You know, if you pre-built and buy it, you know, you have three options there. But if you really want, you can actually build your own. And that's where I'm going to show you guys how to do this today. Click CPU. You know, you can do the i9-9900K, but if you want AMD or Intel, you over here, you can actually change this. Um, if you want on sale, you can click on sale, and it'll pop up what's on sale. You know, I'm going to unclick that. You can do ship by Newegg or in stock. That's pretty cool. You also have the options of Intel or AMD. You know, I'm going to click Intel. Let's just do Intel. Let's apply. Let's see what we got here. We can do i9, but I see 10th, you know, i9, 10th gen. We'll click 10th gen. That's the newest. And I'll show you guys this. As you can see, they're out of stock, but you can actually still select this. This is the 10,900K. We're going to click that. We're going to add that. We're going to build this. I have a 9900K, but we'll build this one right now and just show you guys how to do this. Then it gives you the options of motherboard. You click select. From here, you have the options of manufacturers, price, form factor, availability, 4th of July sales, or DDR, you know, memory slots, stuff like that. I'm going to actually click ATX. Um, I do have an EATX that I'm running right now, but we're going to click ATX. More wide variety. Now that we have this, we can actually click the price range. You know, for most, around the $300 board will probably do. But I say let's check out the $400 range boards and see what they have for this options. Well, it looks like we have one AS Rocks um, W480, one MSI Meg Z490, ASUS Maximum, or ASUS Maximum Formal. Um, let's actually look at the top one. Let's see if it gives us a look of this. You know, it tells us what it is. You know, it gives you the option of uh, onboard cooling, not board. It's got the shields. I think that looks pretty good. You know what? We're going to select that. Once we have those two selected, you'll see the price up here in the wattage. It is 205 watts of draw power at $1,000 already. Of course, you're going to need some memory, so you can click the memory. I prefer, you know, you, you can pretty much have all kinds of voltage draws, you know, if it has LEDs, stuff like that. I prefer, like, size, but it's not actually showing me the size right here. Dual link or quad channel. I'm going to click quad channel because I like quad. I like to have it all uh, full, which is pretty good. Now... Right here is your 32 gigabytes, 4 by 8. That is actually a good deal for $184. And that is DDR4-3200. But if you want a higher speed, definitely find a higher speed. Let's show more. Let's actually find the 3866 speed. Let's see what we got here. One option of 32 gigabytes is $299. That's a lot of money. I really don't don't really need that but I would at least love 3600 or higher so let's take a look at that you know we got some G-Skill Triton Z's or we got Oli Warhawks I've never seen Oli's never used it I can't say they're bad or not but I'm gonna actually go with the G-Skill now that we have that we're at $1,300 for the build so far Video card. Video card is very important if you're rendering like I do, rendering videos, stuff like that. Now, if you know me, the, the 300 series is coming out soon, but I have a 2080 Super, and that is where I'm going to go now. Um, you could go 2080 Super, 2080 Ti, 
the TI. We'll pull both of those up, give you both options right now, let you, let you do that. So here's the 2080 Super, and let's see, can we find a 2080 TI here? We have a TI. The difference is phenomenal. You can go from 700 up to 12 to 13 to even, you know, $1,700 for a TI. I like the... Uh, the T the S Supers they're, they're not bad they're they're a little more affordable for most people, which is really cool. So we're gonna actually get rid of the TI. We're gonna bundle this down a little more. You know EVGA hey, makes some nice nice cards, but I actually don't have an EVGA. I'm running an MSI. So let's actually go right here and let's click MSI and see what we have for the options. You have the MSI 2080 Super Ventress Overclock, the MSI 2080 X-Trio, X-Trio G-Force. Uh, this is the one I have, and I'm going to check that. We'll add this to the build. We are now at $2,000 build already. Of course, what's a build without a case, right? So you want to know in the cases, you know, liquid cooling, can you do liquid cooling? Can you expand? You know, customers ratings, you know, power supply, fan options, radiator options. That is what we're going to do. It, uh, it pretty much has all options. External bays, external slots. Let's just say ATX full tower. Let's click an ATX full tower. We can do that. We can click the style. I like Fantiques. I have Fantakes. Let's see what we can find here. So the full towers, it doesn't give you the ethanol um, evolves. So we get rid of that. You know, we can actually just, let's see what the EATX has to offer for Fantix. The Eclipse. All right, so let's check out Mid Tower. So if you want a Mid Tower, here is your Eclipses, your Ethanols, Fantex Evolve uh, X. That is a great option. That is what we're going to go with. I'm going to actually go with the black. As you can see, it's out of stock, but we can set it here, and then when we purchase it, it'll come. Power supplies. You definitely need a power supply. Most of you will be fine around you know, 750, 800 uh, wattage, 240 pins, you know, 12-volt rails, stuff like that. It gives you all these options, 24 pin, 20 plus 4 pins. Fully modular. That is what we want. Fully modular is what I prefer. Um, I actually have an EVGA, so we're going to go with an EVGA. And, you know, we could go... Let's go... Certified Gold. It's a good option. 850, there's a thousand. A thousand watts should be fine. I actually have that. I believe that's the one I have. It's possibly one of these, but let's see, where's another one? As a $229 power supply, we'll click it and add it. As you can see, we have the CPU, the motherboard, the RAM, the video card, the case, and the power supply. Storage, you're definitely going to need storage. Let's click it. You know, SSDs is the way to go, I prefer. Um, definitely going to go one terabyte or more. So let's see what we got. Two terabyte SSD M.2. If you want, go four terabyte and just be done with it. You know, you can do M.2s, 2.5s. 2 terabyte Western Digital. That is actually not a bad price for 2 terabyte. You can just leave everything on one hard drive. If you're like me, you actually swap out your, uh, literally swap out your uh, hard drive. So 2 terabytes, that would just be the game drive. I say let's click that one. Let's add an additional M.2. So we're going to do another M.2. And we'll do about 500. Yeah, you know what? We'll do a one terabyte. That is not a bad price for Intel, but I'm going to go with this Western Digital M.2 one terabyte for the OS and other files. 
CPU cooler. This is where you're going to be able to pick if you want fan and heat sink style or water cooling. I suggest water cooling, AIOs, you know, you can do the builds that you can get cool masters, stuff like that. I do a thermal tech. I actually have a thermal tech uh, green duo, but I have a 360 um, right here. Let's see what we got. Thermal tech, 140, 150, 200. Um, they're all out of stock. You can go smaller if you really, really wanted. Let's check this one out a little. 3.0 RGB. This is the water 3.0. This is actually a good one. I, I actually like that. We'll click that. We'll add that. That should keep everything cool. Operating system. Nothing's done unless you have an operating system, right? I say go pro. You know, be done with it. Windows 10 USB Pro. Add it. $200. So this will give us your build. Right here is a $3,202 build. 505 watts draw. Everything is compatible. There's no, no the issue. PSU wattage we recommend only gives you a general idea. So this is actually a pretty good build. It is up in the higher end. If you wanted to go lower end, you can definitely do that with AMD. Um, even Intel, you can go with smaller CPUs and stuff. But that is how you add it. And then if you want, you can either save the list um, or add to cart. If you add to cart, it's going to be 13 items in your shopping cart. We're not interested. And this is what you purchase all this. You can purchase all this right now. Shows you your coupons, your discounts, your trades, your free gifts. So you get a free gift. Every Western Digital gives you another free Western Digital uh, 120 gigabyte, which is pretty cool. And then you just check out. If you wanted to save it and come back to it, you can also do that. You know, some of these items are not available, but due to the availability, um, you know, the items have been removed. So as you can see, you can't get those right now. It's not a big deal because you can save them and come back to when they're ready. So that is how you build a PC with PC, uh, the new egg PC builder. Like I said, you can go back if you wanted to do this over. We can do, you know, let's check out one of these customizable. Let's do a budget build. Let's view the pre-built. So the pre-built, here's some budget pre built right here. Skytex, AVs, Raj. You know, Asus's. These are all pre-built, already configured for you. You can just buy them. They have that option. But I think if you're checking out this video, is how to build a PC with a new egg PC, uh, new egg uh, PC builder. And keep your eyes out for more. DragonBlogger.com to come. Thank you.